Activity. Cutting and dressing bricks. The tools you require for this exercise are lump hammer, bolster, comb hammer, cutting mat, bat gauge and safety glasses. Firstly, we need to understand the basic terminology used with bricks along with brick dimensions. The longest face of a brick is known as the stretcher face. This is usually 215 millimeters in length. The end is known as the header face. This is usually 102.5 millimeters wide. The depth of a brick is usually 65 millimeters. These are the most common sizes of the bricks you are likely to encounter. The indentation shown on the brick is known as the frog. Activity. Cutting the brick. You need to cut the half bricks for your next exercise. We can mark this size by using two methods. One, first use the width of a brick, like so. Or use the bat gauge. This has been made to assist with accurate marking for half, three-quarter and quarter bats. Bat being the name given to a cut brick. As you can see, two half bricks plus a joint are equal to the length of a brick. This allows for a collar joint when building one brick thick walls. You will encounter this type of walling later in your training. 4. You needn't mark the brick. Just position the bat gauge on the face of the brick. 5. Always cut on the face side first. Don't attempt to cut the brick with one blow. The results could be disastrous. Always use a cutting mat. This will help remove friction when cutting. 6. Cut on the rear and then on the bed face. Seven. What we now have is a cleanly cut half brick, but one half is still 10 millimeters too big. Eight. We will remove this, but incorrectly. Can you see why the brick has not been cut cleanly? Hopefully you're right. Yes, the bolster wasn't held correctly. We now have a brick with a protruding face. This needs to be removed. As it is only a soft brick, we can use the comb hammer. Combing can be a tedious operation, but don't rush it. Never comb directly on the face. Comb halfway, turn the brick around and comb again. You now have a brick that you can use. 